Hello friends, welcome to Dipshikha's Karushil. Today we are going to learn this terracotta pot. For making this we need any mud pot in any shape and fevicryl mold it. Mix resin and hardener in equal quantity until it become white. Apply some talc on your palm and roll the clay and make it thin and long. Make a rough drawing on your pot and apply some fevicol glue and stick the clay on it. Cut the extra. Now for the next design, I have made this long thin clay and I am twisting them together to give them a spiral look. In the same way apply your glue and stick them. Friend if you are visiting first time this channel then hit the subscribe button for such videos. Press the clay gently with your finger so that it will stick on the pot properly. Now for the flower I am giving teardrop shape to my clay, one petal on the middle and two on the sides. Same way stick the flower with fevicol and we will add two more petals. Add a clay ball on the center and with the help of a fine object I'm pricking it. In the same way I made all the flowers, now let's make the bud. Same, give a teardrop shape to a clay and it's done. No need to add petals on it. But we will give few detailings on our bird. Our flowers and buds are ready. Now let's fill the gap. Here I'm adding few grass from the bottom area in this way. I will cover the bottom area where we have gaps. Our clay work is almost done now, just we need to add a clay border on the top. We will follow the same process as we did earlier. Our clay work is almost finished. Now I will let it dry for 2-3 to three hours. Our clay is dried completely. Now I'm giving black color base coat. I'm using acrylic black color. After covering our pot with acrylic black color, now it's time to color our flowers. Here I'm using golden metallic and metallic copper color to color our flowers and all embossed parts. I'm applying two, three coats of golden metallic color for a better coverage. Here with the help of sponge I am giving a beautiful texture on the grass.
So friends, our coloring is done and let's clean the mess. I will apply the same black acrylic color to clean it up. Friends, if you learn something from this video, do comment and share it with us. We we'll love to hear from you. Our coloring part is completely done. Now, let's protect our color and the pot with the help of clear synthetic varnish. This is from Asian Paint. And with the help of brush or sponge, you can apply it as a top coat layer. It will give a beautiful shine to our artwork and it will protect it from dust and moisture. Tada! This is our final look. Friends, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe this channel. You can also follow us on Facebook and Insta. Links in the description. Thanks for watching.